motivated. I'm at a point in life where I just don't know what to do and where to go. Like, I like doing these motivational videos, inspiring people, you know, giving them the sense of impact that they need to keep chasing their dreams. That I love doing. But at the same time, I don't get paid to do that. But I do get paid through when someone says, you've helped me throughout my day with your video. Like that gets me going. So I continue to do it because I like helping others. I feel like that's what my purpose is. Now, my job, however, it does drain me to go to work. Like, I go to work, I wake up at 6 in the morning just to catch the train to go to work because there's so much traffic just to get to my job. And it's like, I don't want to just keep doing that, you know, go through traffic. But if there's no traffic, it's only like 25 minutes, which is if you speed through, it could be like maybe 15, 20. But it's just too much. Like I'm working literally 10 hours. I do my shift is 8 to 4.30. So I get up at 6, so technically you could just add two more hours to my 8-hour shift. And then when I get home, I'm so exhausted. So it's like, it's either I eat, go to sleep, or eat, chase my dreams. So what do you think I do? I chase my dreams. You know, and it's like, when I'm at work, I'm in a system, basically. I do the same thing over and over again. Basically, I work at the airport, so... All I do is put baggages into the carts and then the cart with the bags go in the airplane. So when people are traveling, they go to their destination. You know, that's what I do. So not only are the bags heavy, some of them are too heavy for me. Some of them are okay. Some of them are not heavy. Some of them are small. But you don't know which bag is coming. So I could do a flight and all the bags are heavy. And now my my arms, both of my arms feel like they're about to snap off because they're so sore from lifting 70 pound bags that I can't even pick up. You know, I'm literally struggling just to pick them up, but I get through it sometimes because you have to push forward. You have to give yourself courage just to keep going. But yeah, I've been only been at this job for like a month and it's like, it's very toxic, like, the environment. Like, everybody's so mad at each other each other, all the time. And it's just like, man, what's going on? Like, you don't know. And I just got there. So it's like, I don't want to be around an environment like that where supervisors are either getting at it with the co-workers or the co-workers are getting at it at the supervisor or co-workers are getting at it with each other. And it's just like, man, I don't want to be around places like that. And it's just like, there's so many strict rules. It's like, you can't be on your phone. You can't sit down when there's no work in your car. If somebody sees you, like a supervisor, they can write you up. They give you three months probation. So if like anything that goes wrong, they can just literally fire you right then and there. So, but And if you lose the ID card, you have to spend $100 to replace it. So you need your ID card to get punched in to go through TSA in the back area of, you know, the workforce. And it's just crazy. But I be at work sometimes, and I'm always checking my time. Like, as soon as I clock in, the moment I clock in, it's like I'm already hoping for the time for me to go is coming up fast. Like, that's the most important thing that I do. Like, when is 4.30 going to come? Like, and I feel like in the morning, my first half of my shift normally goes by quick the fastest time is my break sometimes I get an hour break sometimes I get an hour 30 sometimes I might get a two hour break it all depends but it's just like my break is the fastest and then after that my second flight because I normally do two flights in a day so my second flight it normally goes by fast depending if I'm doing something like all the time it goes by quick if the flight is slow like bags don't really drop like that i'm gonna be just on my phone you know and the sad part i don't like about this job is that i'm so tired throughout the whole entire day it's like if i don't stay on my phone i'm gonna end up falling asleep 
And if I fall asleep and the supervisor comes and sees me sleeping, I'm going to get fired. So it's like, that's why I don't want to work somewhere where I'm already drained. You know, I'm drained throughout the whole day. First off, I'm tired. You know, I didn't even get enough sleep because I'm chasing my dreams. So I, there'd be days where I just be so tired. I just want to just go to sleep. But I just can't do that because I want my dreams to become true so I don't have to work this job no more or work for anybody for the matter you know so i make that sacrifice i'm the one that's putting myself in jeopardy because i do see success in this like i feel like if i really just keep going every single day at it i will eventually gain enough followers on all my social media platforms not just tiktok instagram but all of them so my goal is to get my podcast going like i just started my spotify podcast just for, it's just a motivational with inspiration podcast i do want to have another one where i interview people of their career choices you know what got them into that field what motivated them to keep going what inspired them to get in the in the first place and just general questions about life and you know before and after so that podcast i will do soon i just need to get the people to talk to and see how everything goes but I just feel like man if I knew exactly what my purpose is and I knew exactly what I'm supposed to be doing I would not be at this job I've only been here at this job for a month and I already feel like this job is not for me and it's like oh just get another job it's like no I don't want to just get another job I just want to do my purpose because I'm tired of chasing money I'm chasing money I'm going to work and the money I get is not even enough. It doesn't even make me happy anymore. Like, I don't even look forward to paydays because as soon as I get paid, it goes straight to a bill. And it's like, I'm paying all these bills for what? And it's like, I can't even spoil myself on Fridays anymore. Like, before, I used to be able to treat myself on Fridays. I used to be able to buy myself stuff. But now I can't buy myself anything. So it's like... I would rather just work on my passion and be fulfilled, have enough sleep, have enough sleep, have enough energy to do my passion and just make money off of that instead of me working these jobs that give you no skill, they give you no leverage. You don't even learn anything. You're doing the same thing over and over again until they want to teach you something new. And then unless you ask them, you know, they might not even teach you because they don't even have time to teach you because they're too busy doing their own thing. And plus, I just want to travel the world and just see life for what it is and have a life that is so astonishing, so different. Like, I can travel the world, see different places, states, countries, see different buildings, just go to Japan. That's like one of the bucket lists. You know, go to different amusement parks and just have a blast. Like, I want to enjoy life to the fullest because you never know when it's your time. So you just might as well do whatever you can. But it's just like, man, I'm tired of struggling. Because it's like, the money I get is not enough. And I'm not happy with the money that I'm getting. So it's like, why work? And it's like, I don't want to get another job either because if I get another job, I'm just going to be stuck in a cycle. I don't want to be stuck in a cycle. I want to be out of the cycle. I want to be out the norm. I want to do things that makes me feel with happiness. Like, I had a job where I had to fake smile every two to five minutes. You know, I had to fake smile and say, oh, hi, how are you today? You know, I didn't want to sound like that i want to be me i want to be myself i don't want nobody to force me to do anything i can take control of my life because it is mine i'm not following your plan your plan is not much for me my plan is bigger than what you have planned so i have to go for my dreams you know my dreams can save me and save others your dreams can only save yourself so don't include me in your dreams. We often doubt ourselves so much. Don't doubt yourself first. Try it first. Then have confidence that you will succeed in. Just don't 
include doubt in the recipe at all. You'll lose. So, but yeah, man, I just want to give a little TED talk. But just imagine you have a life and you could do whatever you want. You could go wherever you want. You could spend, buy whatever you want, when you want. No one can tell you nothing. You're in charge. You wouldn't want a life like that? Like, come on. Like, that life would be, like, the best life ever. Like, you just wake up rich one day. Like, your talents can make you money, and you could just chill on a beach and just be you. Like, you don't got to report to anybody. Like, no one got to yell at you for any mistake, you know? Like, it's it's just a wonders. Like, life is so wonderful. Like, we just don't even realize it. It's because we're stuck in places we don't want to be and we don't, we're not aware. Like, put yourself in uncomfortable situations and you'll be aware of your life. I'm telling you right now. And put yourself in places that are too expensive for you. Like, if you go to a car dealership that is that has cars that are worth over a hundred thousand dollars and you know you don't even make that much money a year that's gonna want to make you make enough money to be able to afford one of those cars if you go to houses and all of those houses are millions millions of dollars and up you're gonna be like man i'm gonna do whatever it takes to be able to afford a house like that one day because those houses are so big and so gigantic they have so much space there's so much amenities in those places you would want some houses be having gyms they be having basketball courts in them they be having golf courses in them pools inside and outside of the house like you would want a life like that especially when you travel in first class you would never want to go back to economy and then when you go on a private jet you're never going to go travel regular again now's the time to not be average now's the time to be extraordinary you have to see life that it can take you places just be far like be far within yourself hope for the best every single day don't let any disappointment tear you down because we're often beating ourselves up we think it's okay to just quit we think it's okay to give up it's not okay to give up at all just keep chasing your greatness you got it and just stay motivated and i hope you have a great night let's go